Drag Queen 101 in K-12. That's right, you heard that correctly. Teaching Drag Queen 101 in K-12. to Yes. Is it really possible that a state would actually even consider this or that any elected official would put a bill in? Yes, it's true. It's the appropriate named state senator of California, Scott Weiner, who wants you to learn about Drag Queen 101. We've talked about Scott Weiner before because this guy is a lunatic who represents the San Francisco area, as you can possibly imagine. What a surprise there. So listen to this. In town hall, California Democrat has a sick response to a Texas lawmaker wanting to protect kids from drag shows. So ladies and gentlemen, we've certainly had reports on Mark and the Millennials that from time to time, rogue teachers, okay, not all teachers, but rogue teachers will bring in a drag queen happy hour or worse into K-12 education. And they're trying to do this again and again, these rogue teachers, for obvious reasons. They have an agenda. And so this town hall article is about an incident that happened in Texas. But a California Democrat didn't like the response by a Texas elected official So the California Democrat wants to make this normalized by putting in a law to make it a requirement to have drag queen happy hour. So a California Democrat responded to a Texas lawmaker's plan to protect children from drag shows by vowing to introduce legislation that would force drag queen 101 on K-12 school children. Drag shows are no place for a child, Texas State Representative Brian Slayton tweeted. I would never take my children to a drag show, and I know Speaker Dade Phelan and my Republican colleagues wouldn't either. I will be filing legislation to address this issue on the next Texas legislative session. Slayton's comments come after a number of videos circulated over the weekend showing parents taking young children to gay bars to watch drag shows and in some cases participate in them. Quote, the events of this past weekend were horrifying and show a disturbing trend in which perverted adults are obsessed with sexualizing young children, Slayton said in a statement. You know, we've been saying that for a while on Mark and the Millennials, because really that's what this is about. It's about trying to sexualize children. Who does that, right? Who, who wants to willingly wreck the innocence of childhood? So California State State Senator Scott Weiner, in response to Slayton's tweet by saying it gave him an idea for a new piece of legislation. So Scott Weiner is like, well, how dare you say that you're trying to sexualize children by sending them to these kinds of places and watching these kinds of shows. Scott Weiner is like, great, I've got a great idea for a piece of legislation in California. Quote, offering Drag Queen 101 as part of the K-12 curriculum, said Scott Weiner, the gay lawmaker, who represents San Francisco. Quote, attending Drag Queen Storytime will satisfy the requirement. In other words, he wants to make it a requirement. He being Scott Wiener. Can't make this stuff up. While it's unclear whether Wiener is serious about the legislation, ladies and gentlemen, trust me, this guy's serious. We've talked to him about him before. He has introduced radical items in the past, such as SB 145, which would exempt from mandatory registration under the act a person convicted of certain offenses involving minors if the person is not more than 10 years older than the minor. In other words, this is the same guy, and we talked about this bill, who put a bill in, SB 145, that said it was okay for a 25-year-old to have a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old, and it would not be considered a criminal matter, ever. So this is who you're dealing with in California. This is what this guy wants. I mean, you should see all of this stuff that's out there on Twitter. So Christopher Rufo tweets out, there are three stages of progressivism. Number one, progressives say it's not happening. And it's a harmful right-wing conspiracy theory. Stage two, it is happening. And that it's good that it's happening. 
And that's what the progressives say. And stage three, the progressives say, we're making it mandatory for your children. Well, literally, that is what is happening in this particular case. So, ladies and gentlemen, we also have proof that this is happening. So we said the California State Senator Wiener wants to mandate Drag Queen 101 in K-12 curriculum. Um, but there are also situations where parents have taken their kids and there have been these kinds of events uh, where they take their children. By children, I'm talking about, you know, elementary school, middle school, you know, as young as that. Of course, high school, they're doing it as well. So here is a partial clip of the performance from the Drag Your Kids to Pride event that occurred. Okay, think this. Think about this again. It's called Drag Your Kids to Pride event. We have a partial clip of this. And the backdrop of this, this transgender dude, this guy basically dancing in obviously hardly any clothing while children are there and you can see all the children in the audience. And most of them look very confused. The backdrop says, gonna lick itself. It's in lights, gonna lick itself. We have that clip, okay? This is what Scott Weiner wants your kids to see and to participate in. We have the clip and here it is. So that is exactly what happened with children, okay, watching this, many of many of whom look completely confused and obviously out of place. It was as risque as it sounded. If you're watching it, you can see it. Um, and the kids are like, what is going on here? And you have this dude who is performing in uh, female clothing, you know, hardly dressed, and... This is this is what Scott Weiner wants. Drag Queen 101 in K-12. And ladies and gentlemen, this kind of nonsense is happening across America. We said this before on Mark, Mark and the Millennials. Ever since the pandemic started, I believe, and yes, the roots of these things have been in place in K-12 for many years, and now they're finally implementing it. But ever since the pandemic in particular... I feel like a cloak of darkness has descended upon America, a cloak of evil. I just can't explain it. And I want to make something clear to the Mark and the Millennials listeners, right? Once you're an adult, you know, once you're 18 years of age or older, you can dress any way you want. You can be whoever you want. We don't care on Mark and Millennials. That is your right. But K-12 to education, this is not education, ladies and gentlemen. It's not what you're supposed to be doing or learning in public school. And yet that is what Scott Weiner wants. I just can't believe it. I can't believe that the individuals who allow this to happen um, and putting children in these situations haven't been arrested for grooming or maybe just the individual performing, right? Maybe just arrest the individual performing and say, look, you get to perform as much as you want in front of adults, but not children. I mean, whatever happened to like getting carded at the door? of these types of places because it's risque, right? It's like, well, sir, you need to be 21 years of older to get in. It's like, oh no, we just won't serve them alcohol and then they'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, this is what, how crazy these people are. And that is Drag Queen 101 and K-12. to And that's it for the dumbest bill in America. And that's it for Mark and the Millennials. Thank you for joining Mark and the Millennials. This is Mark Fisher. Thank you to our producer, Christopher Hopkins. Check us out on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Getter, Truth Social, Rumble, and our website. See you next time.